a little bit of a disparity here. You yeah, have hundreds level of real 30, low on there. level 44, and level 43. Compare that to level 100. Yeah. That is just such a raw mastery of the character of Roland Yami again. Like I, I just I can't talk about how much time he has spent because I truly like I don't understand how much time he I mean spent it's to be level one hundred with the character with the um, with the amount of uh, increase between levels at that higher stage that is Three, two, hours and one, hours and roll. hours of time played on a character a lot of dedication from Yami or. Maybe just a lot of pressing A and free for all in the top uh, 100 stock bots. I don't know. I see how well Yami plays <laughs> yeah. this role. In, I so it. I think it's the former, not the latter. And he's about to take Sarah's? Rain off of no, the No, but Rain's got Sarah's of his own. Does not have enough, though, as Draxu goes down. Oh, my Red gosh. team with a quick wipe 30 seconds in. And both blue team members go down out of nowhere. I don't know if Rain did a miss input there because he did a nair when he could have done a sair on the edge. I don't know if maybe it was looking for the turnaround or maybe the chase. Dodge I'm not follow. sure. Maybe he just happened to do the miss input. But this is the stage to get those big open oh, yeah. early gambits like that. Even with the gauntlet side air for the in air movement, Yami Nami. it just has the read on Rain. People talk about how Lance is falling off. They say that Lance is a bad weapon. Yada yada yada. Yami proving them wrong. Hitting so much Lance damage. We haven't even seen him on the sword in this game. He swapped off the, the, the Lance at one point, but immediately picked up another one. Rain goes down to zero, but Yami still building damage. Zero finally losing his first stock, and that's the first stock taken off of the red team. They were looking at a six stock. It is, yes, yeah, five stocks to three right now. Could be five stocks to two very soon, Draxu, and it is five stocks to two very soon. You see Yami using that full charge on the Lance recovery, trying to cover as much distance as he can. Draxu gets behind him, picks up the D-Light into the recovery. It's still four stocks to two. The red team has <laughs> double the stocks that the blue team does. We do see blue team showing some life, getting the nice double onto zero. We saw the double neutral light into the double neutral signatures. Follow up from zero into the uppercut. Rain not gonna go down. A little bit of defense on that bow, but finally zero gets that finisher with the spear neutral signature. And it's all left to Draxu in the 1v2 against the four stocks of the red team. And Yami holding it down. An eight defense character did sitting you, on the second stock. Lots of health too. Did you see how early Yami charged up that recovery before zero did his string? Like that was the setup of a lifetime. Even though it wasn't the biggest play in the Team world, win. like he started that before zero started his string. That is just 2000 IQ. That is forethought and foresight that I've never seen before. Just really good stuff from the red team. Completely setting the pace of that and saying that we are in it to win it. Complete control and devastation. I don't know how you bounce back from that as the blue team member. I mean, you, you, or as a blue team. You have to go into it trying to forget everything that happened in the game before. Like you have well, to yeah, virtually wipe to be the fair, slate clean. You only have to forget about two minutes of gameplay. That's true, it was, it's not a lot. It was incredibly it's quick, but there's uh, emotional damage that has got to be done. Uh, blue team, really gonna have to change it up. Likely will ban out Shipwreck first. Yeah, immediately banning that map out and ban anything close to it. Ban out Brawlhaven, ban out Mammoth as well. And that performance just... right there from Yami and Zero, that's why I was surprised when TB and Daiku 2 owed them. Now, it's not like TB and Daiku aren't extremely talented players, but look at the performance from Yami in Zero. The fact that it was a 2-0, I don't think fully tells the whole story about how good Yami and Zero are. Interestingly enough, small Grumpy Temple is still on the board, but it's going to be Blackguard Keep uh, as the map pick. Zero and Yami, as you've been saying, very talented players, absolutely devastating players. And they're going to be looking to continue that devastation on the blue team as we get into game two of this lower bracket top eight. Draxu with a nice four-piece opening axe string. Lots of damage. You can see zero already in that orange, almost in that kill percentage. Draxu just looking for more of that axe damage. That's why axe is such a strong weapon in 2v2s as you can get such big chunking damage on the team for quick kills. We're seeing Yami open up this game with the sword though, whereas last game it was almost all, if all not 100% yeah. Lance. 
But the red team is getting close to that kill spot. You're seeing a lot of damage done. Yeah, Draxu getting the kill on the left side onto zero. That was a gravity cancel downline into a quick side air. Yami just trying to get some damage back onto Rain. You can see Rain is the one close to kill percent. Nice follow ups from Yami. He has those follow ups in mind, just set up for zero to go for the neutral light, and then he goes for a signature follow up. Yami does get the kill onto Rain with that falling side air. Nice downline side air on the right side from Yami. It. Pick it up off that soft platform, goes with the side light. Drax is going to be able to get to the side. Yami almost reading his uh, movement down into the push off column. Draxu and Yami both disarmed. Draxu is actually going to pick up the axe on that soft platform above the middle stage. And now Yami busting out the big guns, bringing out the lance. That rocket lance just flying him over to the center stage of the map. Looking for that recovery, but Draxu's underneath. Zero gets the down sig onto Draxu, gets that turnaround neutral air, and it's stocks evened up, but Zero not gonna keep it even for long. Can't get the down like ground pound onto Rain for the complete edge guard. Remember from Draxu sending Yami high. You see him go back to the platform. Yami trying to figure out whether he wants to aggress onto Rain on the side or not. He might be regretting that decision. We're seeing Rain put out some serious sword damage. In the meantime, Zero's gonna fall. It is three stocks on the red team to four on the blue team. And this game going in definitely a different direction than what we saw before on Shipwreck. But Yami with his Lance, we saw how quick it came out. There's still that potential for him to just drag a blue team member all the way to the kill box, especially off of one of those moving platforms, those soft platforms on either side of the map. All he needs is like a side light, a Sayer, and a Dare read, and that is going to be death for a blue team. But the blue team doing a great job keeping it dead even. Drax and Zero fighting it out on the left side. The signature coming out from Drax. Zero without a weapon for so Good long. You see Draxu immediately rotate over onto Yami, picking up the kill with the recovery. I saw Yami hitting that neutral light. Draxu came over, side light, Nair, and the recovery follow up for the kill. Draxu is going to go down, stuck, staying even between the teams. Yami looking for that neutral sig read, expecting Rain to hold up off that neutral light. But uh, instead, he just went straight out of it. like Zero trying to focus on Rain as much as he can. Rain and kill percent. Both members of the red team are in the orange right now. Zero getting closer oh, zero. and closer. That weapon toss from Draxu. You see Draxu playing left and right, moving a little bit back and forth on the soft platform, trying to figure out what best position to attempt the kill onto Zero. Ooh, and it's gonna be Yami who gets the kill onto Rain, but you see that Zero kind of saw how close he was to death there, and he completely repositioned once that center stage so that he can go for the 1v2s. Here we go. It's gonna be the downline into a down air from Yami follow up, but uh, nothing else for the team. They're just trying to add up that damage slowly but surely onto Draxu. Not gonna challenge him on that wall. Uh oh. Sarah connects. Zero does get back to the soft platform. Nicely placed side air, just baiting Yami over to the right side. Zero was just in the middle of the stage. There was no time for him to get over to Yami to provide that relief or punish while uh, Draxu was just in recovery frames or anything like that. Well placed. It's now both players, last stock red. If Yami and Zero take this, Draxu and Rain are going home. Zero going for that down signature. It does make your uh, your hitbox invisible for a hot second there, so maybe was expecting oh. Draxu to swing. Nice weapon tosses from Zero. Draxu doesn't have the jumps. Draxu goes down, and it's gonna be Yami and Zero who secure the 2-0 over Draxu and Rain. And Draxu putting out 711 damage. He was kind of carrying the blue team that game.